You've been using clove water the wrong way. And this is what your hair could look like if you begin to use it the right way. As of this footage, I had just taken down the braids that you see in this video. I kept them in for about two months total, and this is two inches of growth. Now my hair has significantly increased in thickness, length, density, everything really, as a result of my calculated use of this potent plant. Keep watching if you want to know exactly what I do in order to achieve this without damaging my hair, of course. Do cloves make your hair feel really dry and really brittle? Do they make your hair break off? Do they make your hair shed excessively? That means that you've been using clove water the complete wrong way. And today I'm going to show you how to use it so that you can actually optimize your hair growth and see a completely transformed and healed scalp, especially if you're dealing with premature graying, hair loss, hair fall, alopecia, and other hair loss ailments. I mean, this also works if you just want to grow out your hair. So stay tuned if this applies to you. Hey Z-Stars, what's good in the proverbial hundred two girls are popularly and lovingly known as FXR. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, of course, we're in a different environment. We're in my living room today because, I mean, I got kind of bored in my office space and I wanted to see you know, try something different. That's really just the bottom line. So do you guys like this? Do you like this look? Do you like this setup? Do you think this is engaging? Let me know in the comments below. But of course today, I'm going to show you how to use clove water the correct way and I don't want to waste your time. So let's just get right into the video. Of course, please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, comment down below. Let me know if you like this kind of video and share it with your friends and your loved ones. Please also watch the ads all the way through so your girl can keep these videos super sustainable for you. This is literally like my full-time job, guys. <laughs> so keep on watching. We don't do sponsorships here too often unless I really believe in the brand. So keep watching, support me. Love you and thank you so much. So a lot of the reason why many of you are experiencing your hair falling out in giant clumps when you're using clove water is either because you're using too much or you're not using it in conjunction with the right herbs to balance everything out. So I'm going to show you my clove water recipe that's been helping me grow out my beautiful natural hair. This is all my hair guys, no extensions. I feel like that should be pretty obvious. <laughs> and that's also been keeping my very finicky scalp at bay. So let's first discuss what exactly cloves do to the hair and the scalp. Now what exactly are cloves? Let's dive right into what the clove is and how it has an incredible impact on our hair health and our scalp health. Clove water, also known as clove tison, is a powerful herbal beverage made from the flowers of the clove plant. This fragrant and flavorful drink has been used for centuries in many parts of the world to treat various ailments. The clove plant is native to the Maluku Islands, often called the Spice Islands of Indonesia, but its use has spread throughout Asia and into Europe. Clove water has recently become popular in Western countries as a natural remedy for hair loss, hair growth, and scalp problems, particularly dandruff and itchy scalp. The active ingredients in clove water are eugenol, cinnamaldehyde, thymol, carbacrol, and geraniol. These compounds have anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, analgesic, and antiseptic properties that can help reduce inflammation of the scalp, unclog blocked pores on the scalp caused by dirt and sweat buildup that can ultimately lead to dandruff and other scalp conditions such as psoriasis. Additionally, these compounds act as antioxidants that protect against free radicals known to cause premature hair loss when accumulated on the scalp due to poor hygiene or environmental pollutants. When applied directly onto the scalp through a massage or used as a rinse for the hair after shampooing, clove water helps promote blood circulation to stimulate hair follicles for healthy hair growth. 
eugenol in particular increases blood flow in capillaries, which carry more oxygen and nutrients needed for healthy hair growth, while also removing toxins that could impede healthy growth. Additionally, thymol has antifungal properties which can help fight off fungal infections on the scalp that could lead to further damage if left untreated, i.e. ringworm or seborrheic dermatitis. When consumed orally through drinking clove tisane, there are numerous health benefits associated with taking this herbal beverage regularly. It reduces bad breath due to its antimicrobial action, improves digestion by helping produce more enzymes, boosts the immune system's response to foreign bodies, enhances cognitive cognitive performance due to increased circulation, relieves stress <laughs> due to its calming effects, boosts mood as it exhibits antidepressant properties, fights cancer cells because of its antioxidant action, eliminates parasites from the body as it is antiparasitic, controls weight gain because it actively boosts metabolic processes, cleanses the liver by improving liver functioning, providing better body detoxification, regulates the menstrual cycle due to its hormone balancing capabilities, cures insomnia by inducing relaxation states necessary for dreamless sleep patterns, prevents blood clotting by thinning blood, hence protecting against stroke and heart attack. Ultimately, consuming clove tisane aids overall body health by aiding with the proper functioning of organs, including the skin and scalp, which has a direct effect on the hair. Adding cloves to your lifestyle, either by having them whole via tisane or adding them to your hair routine, can do wonders not just for your physical health, but mental well being, improving the quality of your life. Thanks, now let's quickly get back to making our clove tisane. Fantastic. Now that we know what cloves do, let's talk about why we've chosen these particular herbs in conjunction with the cloves. Now, I know many of you are asking why we chose these herbs to complement the cloves. Clove by itself is very astringent and very drying. If you use it all over your hair, your hair is going to fall out, <laughs> most likely. And if you have very fine hair or hair that's more sensitive to drying ingredients, then you definitely need to pair it with or really match it up with several herbs that are going to not only bolster its properties, but also counteract some of those properties. So because it's intensely antifungal and antiseptic, it can be really astringent. Now you can use either hibiscus rosa sinensis or hibiscus sapdoripha. Now if your hair is drier, I do recommend using the rosa sinensis because it has significantly more moisturizing properties. If your hair is on the oilier and greasier side, go ahead and use the sapdoripha. My personal favorite is Sapdoripha, even though my hair is on the drier side, but of course we'll get more into that in another video. Now both are going to add moisture, but in my humble opinion, the one that adds more moisture again is the Rosa Sinensis. When it comes to using the rosemary, in certain studies, rosemary has actually been shown to potentially counteract hair loss, block DHT, and etc. It's a really great partner to the clove. Now, for even more antifungal and antiseptic benefits, we've of course chosen the oregano, which in my opinion also offers some great moisturizing properties. When I use it by itself, it does not dry out my hair at all. That's one of my favorite things about it. It deeply cleanses the scalp. It deeply heals the scalp. It deeply repairs the scalp, but it does not dry out the hair. So if you want to get the benefits of the clove, bolster the properties of the clove with other compounds that act in similar but complementary ways. These are the three ingredients that I absolutely recommend. Now let's make our clove tisane. Our first ingredient is 20 grams of clove. Now, of course, I'm using my favorite scale. I've just teared it so I can measure everything very accurately. If your scalp is more sensitive, you might want to reduce the amount. Next, we're going to add 10 grams of rosemary. I've teared the scale again, and now I'm adding the rosemary gently. Next is five grams of hibiscus. And again, I've teared the scale and I'm adding the hibiscus. Next, I'm 
next is five grams of oregano. Which you see me adding to my tiered scale once more to ensure that the quantities are very accurate. And then 200 milliliters of distilled water, preferably, or bottled water. And of course, don't forget to add infinite amounts of love. Now I'm pulling out my favorite portable cooker and I'm adding all of the ingredients to the pot right before I add the water. Before we continue, I have a really exciting announcement for you all. So let's hear from me while I'm sitting in my living room. So you all have a super exciting announcement to make. I know that many of you have been asking me, asking me for months, literally about a year now, if my recipe Bible is going to be available in a physical book that you can actually hold. And I'm here to tell you that it is available in paperback and hard cover on Amazon. Now I'm going to put the link in the description box down below and I'm going to link it also in the cards to the right. Should be right over there. Yeah. So be sure to check that out. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like I literally can't even contain myself, but the book is premium color on premium 100 GSM weight paper. So I'm super excited. It's beautiful, brilliant quality. And of course, those of you already on my mailing list, a lot of you have had the opportunity to purchase it, which is super exciting. I've heard nothing but incredible reviews about the quality of the printed book from you guys. I'm going to put one on the screen right now, but be sure to check that out again. It's going to be linked in the top right corner and in the description box down below. You can join the mailing list by clicking the link down below. I'm going to put that in the description box also. I'm so excited that finally we made it here. Now, of course, if you're still into digital goods, all of my digital products, including the recipe Bible, where you can find even more potent tisons than the one that we're seeing in this video is linked down below. So you have your pick. Either you can get the physical one or the digital one. If you choose to get all of my digital products, you get the bundle for 35% off, which is an amazing value, something that you literally won't find anywhere else. And as you can see, my hair is flourishing. I can't wait to take these braids down and show you guys all my hair has accomplished in this short amount of time. So be sure to check everything out again, linked in the top right corner in the description box down below. I'm super Super excited to bring all of that to you guys. And I can't wait to hear what you think. Okay, let's continue with our video. Here are a few reviews of my digital products from you. Be sure to pause to read. Fantastic. I hope you all are as excited as I am. Now back to this recipe, obviously we see that this is boiling. We're going to remove it because it should be ready. It's been on for about 15 minutes. I'm going to pull up my spray bottle and then I'm going to strain the liquid after allowing it to cool for about four to six hours into my measuring cup so I can easily apply it to my bottle. And there you have it, our clove tison. Fantastic, so now that we've made our clove water, aka clove tison, let's figure out how to apply it to our hair and our scalp. Hey y'all, so it's application time. Now I just wanna quickly show you guys my new growth. Now remember, when I filmed this, it was about a month after I had installed these braids, which is an insane amount of growth for that short amount of time. So of course I'm showing you guys the clove water. We also have our hair growth oil and we have our scalp massager. Now, as you can see, I'm placing the clove water section by section, very gradually, making sure I cover all of my scalp. using my fingers to ensure that it's properly distributed throughout my scalp. Now I'm being very careful not to get it on my hair. 
Of course, I'm not perfect, but please avoid getting it on your hair. This is one of the many reasons why people suffer severe breakage when using clove water or clove teeth on. I make sure to apply it to my, in quotations, problem areas or my more sensitive areas, which are my edges and my crown. I then apply my oil and massage my scalp. But of course, to see that process, you have to click on the link in the top right corner to view the clove oil video. If you guys have had any reaction to clove, tell me all about it in the comment section and drop some pink emojis to let me know that's what you're talking about. I'll probably feature those comments in my next video. Wow, so we made this to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please, of course, don't forget to do the four simple things I always ask you to do. Thumbs up this video, let YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Comment down below, let me know what you want to see from me. And let me know if you're gonna try this recipe or if you have tried any of these herbs as a tea zone before. Please also share this with your friends and your loved ones. Of course, share it with anyone who's suffering from hair loss. And last but never ever can be least, subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Like truly, you mean a lot to me and I'll see you in my next video.